Hi, welcome to your first live webinar crash course. First, log into your newly created account. You have the option to create your own room or event. If you want to have an instant meeting, simply click this button and it'll take you directly to a webinar room. And if you want to schedule a webinar, simply click Schedule Webinar. To get started, name your webinar. Once your webinar has a name, set the date, time, supposed duration, and the time zone in which it will be hosted. After selecting these main options, you can add an event agenda if you want to provide a short outline of your event. Next are registration forms. If you toggle the registration form on, your attendees will have to register for your event in order to be able to join the webinar. After registering, they will receive a personal URL that allows them to join your webinar. To create your registration form, select an existing one or create a new form by choosing Design Registration Form. Give your form a name, description, and create fields that each participant will have to fill in. Here is what a simple form with name and email address fields look like. You can also design your forms outside of your webinar creation process in the Registration Form tab here. In the last tab, Advanced, you can set the initial audio modes for the participants. You can choose between three different modes. In Discussion Mode, all participants can talk. They are able to activate their audio and video by themselves. During presentation mode, only presenters can talk and participants listen. Finally, there is Q&A mode where only presenters can talk. Participants can ask for permission to speak. After choosing the initial audio mode, you can set up your room security. If you toggle the waiting room option, your attendees will wait outside of the webinar room until you're ready to let them in. The password protection option allows you to set a password that your attendees have to provide to enter the webinar. You also have the password token option. Tokens are access codes that are sent to attendees before the event is started. To join the event, attendees must provide the token. Finally, there's the thank you email option. When toggled on, attendees will receive a thank you email after the event. Once all of the main steps are out of the way, simply click Schedule and the room details will appear. The room details provide you with an overview of the webinar you've planned. To invite attendees, copy and send them the attendees link. Send it to your attendees via email, text, or however you'd like. You can invite presenters and moderators in the same way. Just send them the appropriate link and they will join your event with that particular role. Another way of adding attendees to your room is via the Invite Participants tab. In this tab, you have the option of inviting attendees and presenters in multiple ways. You can send them the invitations by email, by calling in, via text messages, or by downloading and distributing personal URLs. However, we must note that the text and personal URL options are available only in paid packages. The call-in invitations option is also available in these packages as an add-on. When you've sent all the invitations, you can add the event to your calendar or instantly join the room you've just created. Congrats! Now you have all the basics of creating an event covered.